Hi folks, hope you're okay today, it's good to see you. I just want to share with you again about historical skepticism. There are people outside the church and inside the church, even inside the church, who believe that you cannot look at history and get any objective facts whatsoever about Jesus Christ. Well, I want to quote to you um, a scholar called Burroughs of Yale, uh, an expert, Dr. Burroughs of Yale, an expert in the Dead Sea Scrolls, writes this. There is a type of Christian faith rather strongly representative today that regards the affirmation of Christian faith as confessional statements which the individual accepts as a member of believing community and which are not dependent on reason or evidence. Those who hold this position will not admit that historical investigation can, be any, can have anything to say about the uniqueness of Christ. They are often sceptical as to the possibility of knowing anything about the historical Jesus and seem content to dispense with such knowledge. I cannot share this point of view. I am profoundly convinced that the historical revelation of God in Jesus of Nazareth must be the cornerstone of any faith that is really Christian. Any historical question about the real Jesus who lived in Palestine 19 centuries ago is therefore fundamentally important. Fundamentally important. So basically from the Christian perspective it's based on historical facts of who Jesus is. If you're a Christian in the church and you don't believe that you've been badly taught. If you're a person outside the church seeking salvation, seeking to know God, you need to know that real Christianity is based on a real person, Jesus Christ, who really lived, really died, really rose again and we can historically verify it. Okay, We can look at the evidence and find it objectively so that he really did die and really did rise again. Okay? Thank you for listening and God bless you.